hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl hidden treasure if you're new and i've got a story for you please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're new and as always thanks for watching so let's get right into it. Nicki Minaj came out celebrating her 12th year anniversary of Bean Me Up Scotty. She was dropping off new hits um, that featured Drake and many others. We're going to take a look at the intro as well as the live that she had on social media and drake made a special appearance she called him out he came on to her live and it is good but listen guys make sure you check out her new music on her youtube channel but we're gonna listen to her intro and we're gonna get into it and we're gonna look at her live and as always listen comment below tell me what you think of the new music that's dropping and the celebration of 12 years can you believe it's actually been 12 years i know that the barbs are excited she was looking good a little voluptuous but she was looking good so take a listen tell me what you think comment below i would love to hear from you Screenshot me y'all on yours. Hi y'all, hi, hi y'all, how are you? I know I'm late. I'm sorry that I was late, you guys. Um Is everybody here? Okay, well you guys, um, I don't have a lot of time, so, so first things first is that, um, this is the 12 year anniversary of Be Me Up Scotty Mixtape, and a lot of you have been with me for so freaking long, repping me, holding me down when I'm not around, y'all be going hard for me, love you to death, um, so because this is the 12 year anniversary, we thought that we would do something special. Um, I have never ever in life put my mixtapes on streaming services. I say, you know, a lot of people have done that and I've never done it. So what we're doing tonight is we are putting Be Me Up Scotty for the first time ever on streaming services. There might be like two or three songs that didn't make the cut for, for whatever reason. Um, but but yeah, so for the most part, the whole the whole tape is gonna be on streaming services now for you guys. I wonder what's y'all what was y'all favorite Be Me Up Scotty song? Cause I was real I was recently listening to it and you know what I can't stop playing? I can't stop playing Envy and I can't stop playing Best I Ever Had and I can't stop playing Go Hard. Um of course Itty Bitty Piggy, uh Slumber Party. Um, yeah, so those are, did you have a favorite? All of them my favorite. You? Can't pick one. Chat by. Um, okay. Well, those were my favorite. I was listening to them least recently. Um, so, so shout out to, you know, DJ Holiday. <clears throat> he, he did my tape back then. Um, shout out to Deb. Uh, Gucci man, the whole Atlanta that was repping me at that time. Thank you guys. Um, um, and and yes, yeah, so a lot of people showed me love on that tape, which I'm very happy about. Of course, Dwayne Carter is one there. He showed me lots of love. Um, um, Drake, love you too, Def Drake. Thank you for showing me love on that. I don't know who else was on it, but anyway. So having said that, um, who? So so because I, I knew if I would just re-release the mixtape without putting out anything new, I knew y'all would like you know cuss me the fuck out. So what I did was I did a couple new joints for the mixtape. Um, so it's 
so it's not i know y'all was asking me where's the cover art and this and that and this number one this ain't no tiktok shit this ain't no tiktok thing you understand so i a couple joints so um i did a remix to crocodile teeth and then i did a record called um fractions one an old jb and i did another song this is actually on an original beat but um but it's you know in the freestyle vibe it's still you know free, freestyle type type things so so that's all in preparation of you know of course i'm working on the album for you guys um hi ali berry <laughs> um i'm working for the album um i just I might have uh, 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 looked upon a couple new little little things for the album yesterday too. So the album is coming soon. The documentary is as well. I'm really excited for you guys to see the documentary. I know you're gonna love it. Hi, Beanie Man. I love you. Um, but but no, you guys. I didn't want you to be thinking about this as some. Oh my God, we gotta, you know. This is Nikki's lead single. No, to answer your questions, because I saw a lot of you guys asking that on Twitter. It's not. Um, but it is very, very important. So, a couple things. Hi, Ming Lee. Hi, Courtney. A couple things. Um, Papa Bear is doing great. I love Papa Bear. Yesterday, Papa Bear said, I mean, two, two, two days ago, he said, Mama. What's so funny? <laughs> he said, Mama. And I happened to be recording him. I was like, say it. And he kept on saying, Mama, Mama. And he was like yelling at me because I didn't realize he was saying it a bunch of times until I went back and played the the video. And I said, oh, I see why my little uh, baby was yelling at me because Mama wasn't hearing him saying Mama all them times. And yes, so he said, Mama, I might put that out because it's so cute. But then on the other hand, I, 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 on the other hand, it's, you know, it's, it's like my baby. And I don't know yet. I'm so overprotective. I'm, you know, I'm Mama Bear. Um, but, but, um, so so those are the three joints if you if you are on my mailing list i did a really dope little letter for you guys that you will get you will get a letter from me it's going over a few things that just went down in the last few months for me um as always i have to tell you guys that i fucking love you so much um hi tamar um because you always make me feel happy um, even when I stay away for a long time, you always make me feel happy. This little hiatus was really fun because I was, you know, in mommy mode, but also I went through like this crazy little writer's block for a second. And it, if you are an artist, no matter what you do, like, you know how crazy it is when all of a sudden, like, you can't really flex your art the way you used to. So I did go through a little bit of writer's block. And I was like, bam. And then all of a sudden, um, I got, you know what? I hit Drake and I asked him, I was like, yo, I'm doing this mixtape. Who got who got the hottest shit out right now? Who should I jump on? Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, here. So he sent me something. So that's one of the things that you will hear tonight. It's called Seeing Green. Um, that was, Drake sent it to me and asked me to give it. Oh, it's, oh, you got the nerve to be on my live, Drake? You better call me right the fuck now. It's going down. The GOAT is on the motherfucking line. What's up, the GOAT? 
I'm sorry, y'all. Can you see my snot coming down? Yeah. Y'all, my snot is coming down because right before I got on live, I got a really, a really beautiful surprise that I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you guys about it, but it was so sweet. I just couldn't stop crying. So after I did my makeup, I had to redo a little bit under my eyes and my nose because someone that I fucking love so much um, sent me the most sentimental, meaningful, beautiful thing, card and flowers and stuff like that. But when I read the card, I just, I, it made me super, super emotional. But um, so how can I call Champagne Poppy? Because he getting one, it's live. Y'all tell me how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Y'all know I'm dumb. You gotta find his name. You gotta find his name. Tell him to write that. Yeah. He probably gonna hide now. He like, bitch, I ain't say all of that now. Where he at? He gotta write something and we hit his name. And they told me not to do it like this too, but I wasn't planning on adding anybody. Drake, type because I'm adding you. You can't run away. You've already shown yourself. And it's so, it's moving. It's so many people that I can't even pinpoint it. And this this happened. This always happened, child. Yeah, that's a lie. He's not even commenting. Huh? Mm -mm. Well, if I pause it can, and text, can I, um, will they still be there or will I take, come off of it? And, um, They'll still be there and pause it. Yeah, can they wait for a second? Yeah, you want to do it. You know, um, Nicki Minaj dropping music tonight. <laughs> nah, oh, you did? You gotta get, you gotta get hit, bro. Come on, man. What's up, man? So, you know, so you know, great. Nicki Minaj dropping some new songs tonight. I didn't know that. You don't know that? You got, yeah, you gotta get Excuse hit. Excuse me, sir. Of course, sir. Of course <laughs> it's good. Excuse me, sir. You didn't know we dropped music tonight. You gotta get hit. Huh? Oh yeah. So, 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 so,
I'm from I'm motherfucking always in the motherfucking building. The I'm doing your motherfucking line. What up? Like don't what nobody up? ever ever come motherfucking. Y'all not seeing him. Y'all not playing with him. It's the motherfucking art, artist of the decade and all of that was really good. Young fucking money. Y M C M B. Oh, I like that. Hey. I like that. Damn. You know I like when you go off like that. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was going to get him some Queen Radio Vibes thing. So basically, since we only, it's like five more minutes left. Yeah. So I was telling them that you sent me this um, record called Seeing Green. That's right. What What made you think I would sound good on that? I mean, you know, it just, it a bit, well, can I tell you who else is on it or no? It's a surprise. Okay, all right, well then. Well, I, it's just been a really long time since since that, since that moment. Back. Yeah, it was just, it was just, it didn't feel right with you not being on it. That's really the best way I could put it. It was like, it was fun the other way, but it, it's 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 epic this way, you know. So I just, we just, you know, I had some real heart to heart with you lately, like just about the fact that it's like, it's just your world. Nobody does this shit better than you, and it's like when you're gone, you know, obviously. Papa Bear's here now, so we are, you know, we, we understand the priorities. But, you know, when you're gone, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm sure I speak for everybody in the live when it's like, yo, we really miss you. Like, we really miss your presence and just, like, we miss the bars, the excitement you bring. So it's like, you know, I just, like, I've been on you lately to just, you know, you know what time it is. And, you know, I'm coming over um this weekend, too, so. Yeah, I'm blood, so blood, get life. To work. Yeah, too blood, blood, life. No, I'm really there to... This man been saying he was coming to my house for the last two weeks, y'all. So now y'all got to make sure he come over here. While I lied to him, I, no, I swear I did this. He kept on lying, so I was like, yo, no, I'm cooking for you this time. I'm cooking steak, shrimp, and all of that. <laughs> and he still, he still stood me up. I no, I didn't stand you up. That's not you. Don't make me sound like that. All right, no, but listen, on the real shit, I am so... I love you so much, Drake. Like, Pete. So just, so just let me tell y'all the real shit. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to say it too much. He single-handedly got me out of my writer's block, and I'm never gonna forget it. And I'ma shout it to the fucking world on the mountaintops because that's what the real shit. That's my hand to God. He sent me something, and it made me feel so competitive again. I was like, Yo, what the fuck am I doing? Like, get, like, you need to start writing. And Facts. Whenever I hear Drake and Wayne rap, it just it's always gonna inspire something in me. But outside of Drake's raps, it's his like pep talks. He'll he'll send one text that'll make me really like reevaluate everything. He's a fucking genius as a musical artist, but also just as a human. Like, please everybody know that. Like that's real shit. Like that's, that's not racist. Um and so I love you very much. You guys, it's about to, the song is about to come out. I'm going to try to go live tomorrow, y'all. I know I didn't get a lot of time because somebody came extra late. I'm not going to say no names, Tay, but just play this fucking stupid ass fucking song. As always. But you guys, go and listen to Seeing Green featuring the two goats, Drizzy Drake and Little Motherfucking Way. Go get that up Scotty right now. Go listen to Fractions. And Drake yeah. Fractions is a fucking slap. So it I is a slap. Is a and and tomorrow tomorrow I'm pulling out my um my YMCMB sweatshirt, the old one with the Birdman logo on it, like just for you know what I'm saying, just because. But listen, yo, listen, I have some listen, YMCMB slippers. Listen, like I'm in the middle of the street, but I want to tell you this: I love you with all my heart, and I'm we're, I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you glad that you got in your bag for this re-release. But you know what time it is now. I'm not taking you know I don't I'm not gonna say too much on here, but. It's that time, so um, okay. I'll be there this weekend. I love you. I love you too, Drake. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys, bye. I love you so much for tuning in. God bless you. It was a lot more stuff that I wanted to say, but we ran out of time. But you guys, check out the music and let me know how you feel about the music. Um, I'm wishing you guys all the best. Um, was there anything else I needed to say? Uh... Not that I can think of. Go check out the music, you guys, and let me know what you think. I love you dearly, okay? Bye.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button. Comment below. Tell me your thoughts. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.